Hello everyone. Um, so this will be the last video in the instructional series. And for this video, I'm going to be talking about um, basically this, uh, this, the transport panel and also the command panel. Um, and uh, for the Arteria, uh, Arteria keyboards, they usually come with this nice, um, you know, magnetic set where, you know, you can flip it over. This is for Ableton Live. Um, they have a template for um, I think this was Cubase, but I used a label maker and I relabeled it as uh, FL Studio. And these are all the um, custom commands that I've made. Um, so you'll see that, I mean, there's gonna be a button for solo, a mute, um, you know, new pattern, or if you hold it down, it'll clone the, the pattern. Um, this is to navigate up and down a pattern. This is to toggle the song, uh, the song in pattern mode. Um, this is punch in, punch out, which I'll explain in a bit. This is the toggle the metronome, um, and this is the undo or redo button or to hold down to clear the entire um, track or pattern. Um, so yeah, let me explain what each of those does um, so that you know it's understandable. And you know this is the transport channels, and this this is pretty straightforward. Okay, so um, in FL Studio, um, you know, the first of all, like when you're recording songs, there is, uh, you can either record as a, you know, as a song or pattern. And, you know, the button here um, will actually uh, toggle between pattern or song. Um, when you record a pattern, um, you can make it loopable um, by, you know, pressing this. So what happens is if you have a loop uh, width of, say, 16 notes, then once you hit the 16, it starts overriding the recording from here. Um, and so this is good for doing um, looping. So you would have this and you would be in pattern mode. Um, song is if you want to directly record into um, a song with the different layouts, you know, then you can do it in song mode. Um, pattern is generally what I start out with. Um, and the other thing that's nice is that, um, you know, these are going to be recorded into the you know, the playlist for the different patterns. And if you want to toggle a new pattern, there is the new pattern button, you know, you can play with. Um, so let's, you know, record some music. Um, let me wear my headphones. Okay. And the nice thing is that, you know, you know like um, we can start recording, um, you know, and hit play. Okay. Okay, so I just recorded a bunch of stuff. Um, let me stop it. And if I hit play, you know, I can hear it. But let's say there's only a section that I want to keep, right? So like I might be able to like, I might be playing, um, you know, a long sequence and I'm only interested in a certain part. Well, I can scrub forward or backwards, right? Um, and then I can listen to it. And when I like the part, I can hit punch in to start the selection and punch out and you know the red part is the selected portion and it's just going to keep looping through what i just selected right that sounds horrible um so once it's selected you know let's say i just want to isolate that portion that i've selected um you can press new pattern and it'll create a new uh, pattern with just that selected segment um so there it is um, and you can see it inside of our uh, pattern window as well um the thing, there, though, there is a bug in FL Studio such that when I copy this out, uh, it does have like a small offset. Um, so, you know, you, you would need to go back and edit it and then shift it backwards and forward. Um, if you want to clone the whole thing, you know, you could just hold the new pattern button down and it'll clone that track. And that way you can, like, if you want to assign like a different instrument to it, so you have two instruments overlaying, you know, on that pattern, then you can do that. Um, and then, you know, to cycle through the different patterns, you can, you know, press up or down and then, you know, um, you can see it happening. Um, you can mute, uh, you know, the different, I think, I think the mute applies for, oh, it applies for the channel rack. So right now we're on, you know, uh, bank five, I can mute that, um, but I can also mute different ones. And... Yeah, and then the metro button uh, toggles the metro, uh, sorry, the metronome. Um, so I can turn it on and off. Um, you can also configure, there's a config.py file 
um, that you can later change to make it so that if you don't want the visual metronome, um, you know, you can turn it off with this metronome press. Um, I actually like that. Let me let me do that right now. So let's uh, turn off. So um, inside the MIDI script, you know, there is a file called config.py. And this thing is editable by any standard text editor. Um, and then what you can do is you can change the setting to however you want it to do. Um, so I'm going to change it so that um, the, what is it? Uh, when I, oh, the metronome lights, or sorry, uh, they are only on when metronome is enabled. So let me set that to true. Oops. And remember when you're doing true, it's always capital T, false, you know, capital F, and that's just Python syntax. Okay. Um, so once I've updated that, I need to reload the script. You can either restart FL Studio or you, you know, you can cheat and do the view script output. Um, it's buried in Windows somewhere. Okay. And uh, reload script. Reload script for the other tab. And now, you know, um, if I hit play, metronome's disabled, so I won't see any of the vi the visual indication, which is kind of cool. Okay. Um, I wonder why it's muted. Okay. Um, okay, so yeah, those are it for all the, I think the buttons and the commands. Um, but yeah, and I, I've also covered, you know, how to edit the config file. Um, so to recap, um, <clears throat> again, you can toggle, you know, solo, you can solo an instrument, you can turn off an instrument. Um, these up and down buttons, they will uh, change the pattern number. Um, you can hold the new pattern button down to clone, or you can press it just to create a new pattern. Um, song and pattern mode will toggle between playing a song, or sorry, uh, recording or playing in song, or recording playing the pattern. Um, punch in is to start the beginning of a selection. Punch out is to end the selection. For essential keyboards, there's only a single punch button. I'm not sure if it's working, but if it is, um, the first press will begin a selection, the second press will end a selection. Um, there's a metronome button to um, toggle the metronome on and off. And then finally, the undo redo button uh, to undo the last step or redo it. If you hold it down, it'll clear the current, um, you know, the, the current active pattern. I haven't muted, that's why. Um, so I can clear it by holding it down. Uh, holding that, read. Oh, there we go. Cleared active pattern, and I probably cleared. It's probably in the playlist. Um, you plays. I have too many windows right now. Okay, so yeah, I should have cleared pattern two. Um, yeah, so that that just cleared it. Okay, um, so that's it for now. All right, thank you.